Hey, this is Mark from Nitro Gear and Axle. Today we're out here doing a bit of an upgrade on uh, Jeep JK. It belongs to a friend of ours. Uh, this actually used to be an ARB Jeep and um, he's since upgraded to a 35 spline front differential inside of the Terraflex housing. Uh, the diff's already in, that work has been done, and uh, now we're going to do some nitro axle shafts on it. So, we make a high grade chrome only axle shaft kit for these, uh, inners and outers with Spicer U-joints. Uh, these are intended for aftermarket differentials that use 35 spline in a JK, so your Terraflex housing, Curry housing, Dynatrat. We've got a 30 spline shaft here, which is the original size. Of your typical Dana 44 just for comparison's sake and you can see just how much larger these 35 spline shafts are uh, not to mention a much stronger material so anyway, we're gonna go ahead and assemble these and uh, we'll show you how that works and then start putting this guy together it comes complete with a set of uh, Spicer uh, high quality U-joints um, and we replace the partial circlips with full circlips uh, to retain the caps on the joints when you put this together so the purpose of that is to keep the uh, caps in place and locked in solidly. Um, those caps start to move, you're going to have problems with, um, you know, potential breakage. Uh, so when you're putting these together, you want to put the circlips on the cross, the full round cross, before you try to assemble the joint because obviously you can't put the circlip in place once it's inside of the axle shaft ears. So we'll go ahead and do put that these together. We've actually got one of the joints. Uh, half installed now in the, in the short side shaft. We're gonna go ahead and put the stub on. You can probably see we've got the clips in place already, uh, the full circle clips that come with the kit. And we're just gonna go ahead and put the caps on. And we are doing this at home, so we don't have a press here. We're using a vise instead. Uh, it works fine, you just have to be a little bit careful. Uh, you know, don't, uh, don't overdo it if something doesn't wanna move. And it definitely is helpful to have someone with you to kinda you know, an extra set of hands is useful. So the starting point of this, I'll go ahead and just tighten this up. You gotta watch to make sure that your joints stay reasonably centered, because if they don't, they get out one side or the other, you can end up in a situation where you catch the needle bearings and you actually damage the, the bearings inside the caps. Once the uh, things start to go, you see it still moves freely. I'm just gonna crank this down Really easy to do in a press, but not terribly difficult to do in a vise. Uh, so, uh, you know, don't be afraid to replace U-joints if all you have is a vise. So once they get to a point where you're at a width of the same width as the, uh, as the, sh the shaft, then at that point we'll use a socket. We're going to drop that, a little bit more room there. We're going to drop that just in there to uh, push on the cap itself, because we want to push the cap into the joint. Okay, so once that happens, right now we can see there's a there's a groove right here. That's the groove for the circlip. Couple options on this. If you have a pair of uh, uh, if you have a pair of snap ring pliers that will fit in there, that's fine. They'll work really really well for this. Um, but you can also just use a, uh, a a couple of picks and a screwdriver if you need to. Just sort of spread this guy out. I got this one turned kind of the wrong way. Slightly more difficult than it would be otherwise, but not too bad. Get it? There we go. Yep. Let's give it a push and it'll snap into place. So now we're going to repeat on the other side. Yeah, I'll trade spots again. Slide this guy over, put your uh, your socket in here. Make sure you use, it's a good idea to use an impact socket if you have one, just because um, they're a little more durable, less likely to flake off any, uh, any chrome chunks. Oops. Yeah, there we go. And you may need to use a, a fair bit of pressure to, to get this over because when you drive that first one over, it has a tendency to go too far. So don't be surprised if you gotta push it back a little bit to get your, uh, your groove exposed. See if we can do this one a little bit more smoothly. Yep. Just like that. 
and the joint is in. It's a little stiff because it's brand new, a little loosen up, but otherwise it's assembled. Pretty straightforward job, just takes a few minutes with a vise and, uh, and some basic hand tools. Caps, um, all built up and assembled, we're going to go ahead and install them now. Uh, the long side is definitely the harder one to do just because you've got to kind of guide it down into the axle tube and uh, through the seal. Be careful, don't push too hard there. You don't want to knock the, the spring out of the seal. Uh, and then into the side gear of the locking differential that's down inside. Um, don't be surprised if they're a little on the tight side. Brand new axle shafts. A lot of times the splines are a little bit snug. Um, no biggie. Sometimes you got to push on them or, yeah, just give them a little shove or even tap them with a hammer. Just to make sure they're seated all the way. Um, of note, this rig has already got them installed. Uh, the kit does come with the special seals you need for the inch and a half. 30, 35 spline axle shafts um, and if you're you know just doing this for the first time make sure you install those because the factory seals are quite a bit smaller on the inner diameter uh, we're gonna go ahead and finish this up and uh, we'll do a recap here in a second drive on the little two-door JK here uh, got the uh, nitro 35 spline inner axle shafts in it with a 32 spline outers and 1350 spicer u-joints uh, everything seems to be fine. Uh, drives nice. Uh, you got lots and lots of strength now in those axle shafts and U-joint assemblies and uh, should be ready to do a bunch more wheeling. Uh, if you want to check these out in more detail, head on over to nitro-gear.com or give us a call anytime at 866-349-6801 and we'll be happy to help you and answer any questions you may have. All right, thanks. Talk to you soon.